Ah, yes, look at this, everyone. What a treat. We've just been, we just drove away from that, um, that nest of the African Harrier Hawk, and Sebastian and I managed to spot this leopard on a termite mound. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I'm not sure which leopard this is. It looks like a young male. What a treat! Isn't this wonderful? Um, when we did find him, he had his head up and he just put his head down and rested. I think if we, if he didn't have his head up, we wouldn't have spotted him. This is really, really wonderful. Look at that. Yeah, we have been so lucky the last two days. Some amazing sightings down here. In the greater Kruger National Park. Lots of lion activity, leopards, elephant, just a lot going on. And I wonder if this isn't that young male Tumba. I can't I can't see very clearly. There's now a bush in front of his face. And what do all of you think? Maybe some of the viewers can have a better look. There we go. Uh, it looks like him. I don't. He doesn't look as big as the other young male that we see in this area, as um, Hosanna. What do you think, everyone? Let me know. And we'll, we'll see. But uh, nevertheless, just so wonderful to see a leopard lazing about on a termite mound. Now, leopards, I've seen leopards many, many times uh, lying on top of termite mounds, and that's why when I, when I drive around too, I often scan the tops of termite mounds. The reason for that is it's nice and comfortable, and it gives them a vantage point to have a look around an area. So this is, this is very special. <laughs> Megan says apparently it's 50-50 between Tamba and Hosanna. Well, this young male is hiding his face now, so I can't tell, unfortunately. Mylens, you asked what is the life expectancy of leopards? Well, generally, um, a male leopard will live to about um, maybe 14 or 15 years old and that's a good age for a male leopard and females on average a bit longer maybe 16 or 17 now it does depend depends on the amount of competition around the amount of food um, water all of that needs to be taken into consideration but generally I'd, I'd say you know male leopards between 13 and 15 and females a little bit older up to about 17 between 15 and 17 those are averages though everyone there are times and um, there have been leopards female leopards that have lived a bit longer 18 I think 18 somewhere around there which is very long for a leopard um, and then males um, one of the oldest males I know lived to about 15 I think almost 16 well, that's quite long for a male leopard too. And again, this is in the wild. I'm not sure about captivity. It's possibly different in captivity, but that I don't think that counts. Um, you know, is a natural estimate. Obviously, try and f see how long they live in their natural environment. Uh, James and a few other viewers, you all say this is Tumba, you believe this is Tumba, um, and I know some of you, um, especially when you do get a screenshot, you're able to identify these leopards very, very well. So, like I said, uh, this looks a bit smaller than Hosanna, than young Hosanna. Ah, oh, wow, look at that beautiful sunset. 
and the giraffe next to the trees. <laughs> uh, those, are, uh, those are the telephone poles. <laughs> but perhaps we can uh, pretend they giraffe for the sake of the of the image. But beautiful sunset. Now you might see there's a bit of that very orange sky, and and that's obviously dust. Um, particles in the sky at the moment, beautiful sunset and a lot of that dust was caused by Tristan this afternoon um, as he headed out of here on leave uh, <laughs> the dust cloud that he left behind I'm only joking, I hope Tristan has a wonderful break a well deserved break we had a lot of fun the last few drives, him and I uh, very pretty now this leopard is still got his head down at the moment but I'm sure he'll move fairly soon JDI you asked if there's um, any plans for collaring the Juma leopards um, to study their movements? Um, not that I know of, JDI, and to be honest, I hope not. I really hope not. Now, the reason I say that, everyone, is because, you know, the, or in terms of, of movements and that of these animals, um, you know, we rely on tracking and, and finding them and following them. We then plot where they are seen so we get an idea of their territory size. So it's all done naturally. No technology is used. And I prefer it that way. You don't want to lose that wilderness experience, I think. And, and that's my personal opinion. Um, I think if you start collaring too much and you start uh, monitoring movements, it, it loses a bit of its... It's wildness, I think. I, I mean, I don't know. I, it is important to obviously um, understand movements and, and do research on, the, on some of these animals. But you know what? I think there's an, enough research on leopards has been done over many, many years. There's no reason to, to do more. The movements that we see now is, um, is natural movements, and it's nice for us to plot and get an idea. But there's no reason to collar more leopards, to follow movements, not in these areas, not in the greater Kruger at least. Maybe in, in other areas where they're trying to do research on new leopard populations perhaps, like down in, in Cape Town in the mountains in the Cape. Yeah, I can understand that, see how far and how large the territories are, because there aren't a lot of people down there, so that is important. But out here, there's no reason for that, you know, with game drives and, um, and the various lodges around and the trackers and guides gives us a, a better idea of the movement of these animals without the use of technology. So I'm not sure how all of how all of you um, feel about that. Now there was that young male leopard or that male leopard Sindile who um, who was collared when they and um, they had to treat him for rabies though because um, they he killed a, a domestic dog that apparently had rabies so he was treated that's a different story and that um, people have interfered purely because of man's intervention that domestic dog wouldn't have been around if there weren't people around here so that is a different situation that yes I agree on interference but with a natural leopard no there's no need I'm just going to wave to Brent's brother quickly <laughs> hi everyone um, Brent's brother is guiding at the moment and uh, he also enjoyed the sighting briefly with us. He's moved off. It's got such a nice little spot to sit. I'm going to now reposition. Hold on a second. Yes, this is very exciting. 
Oh, it's amazing how luck can turn in the bush. I mean, sometimes I can drive around and see very little, and other times things just start happening for us. And I think the more fun you have in the bush, the more things start just appearing. And I think a lot of it, there we go, that's a lovely view of him. I think uh, a lot of it has got to do with us birding. <laughs> We've been taking our time driving around birding and spotting a lot of other things along the way. Doesn't that leopard look so peaceful? There we go, that's a nice view of his face. Now I can see this is still a very young leopard, judging by that very pink nose. Um, often the leopards with age, their noses go a bit darker, almost blackish in color. Um, also the ears, the ears start fraying slightly. You'll start seeing nicks and little bite marks from flies and biting flies and that. Um, little bits of hair missing on the ears. Those ears still look quite perfect and intact. Kitty Kitty Bang Bang, <laughs> I always laugh when I hear that name, Kitty Kitty Bang Bang, you asked what would happen if a leopard had to stumble upon those new lion cubs that we saw this morning, would, um, would and, and there were obviously no adults around, what would happen? Well, it's hard to say really, I do think that there's, there's usually very little scent um, left behind from the, the lions and that's also why lions and leopards move den sites from time to time so that they don't uh, they don't leave too much scent around to protect the cubs um, those cubs I think would be so well hidden it's unlikely that a that a leopard would find them I think if a leopard did find them I, yeah, to be honest I think that it may decide to to kill the cubs um, if it did but can I tell you I, in my guiding career I have not heard of or once seen leopards killing lion cubs uh, not at all so but I wouldn't say it, it, it doesn't happen um, but in my guiding career and, and, and guiding in this area where there's a high lion density and high leopard density um, I have never heard of leopards killing lion cubs Starting to get a bit chilly. Uh, and it sounds like James was perhaps correct with the bad weather rolling in. I think the Mara are currently experiencing bad weather. So I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but you stuck with myself and Sebastian and this young leopard for now at least this has been a very special day and um, for those of you who missed this morning it was really fantastic we and special we got to find the new Unkuhuma cubs um, with a female lioness. She, she took us and we followed her from the um, from the buffalo carcass and we followed her all the way to the den site, uh, the new den site that she's got and she showed us her three new little cubs. It was really special and wonderful. And now this afternoon we got to see the male lions again at the carcass and now a young leopard and it's Megan's birthday today. Again, happy birthday, Megan, in final control. M Megan just turned 23. I hope you don't mind me giving your age away, Megan. 23, she's catching up to me with age. 
<laughs> Just a few. <laughs> Megan says no, no, it's still a huge gap. <laughs> Oh, this leopard is so peaceful. Uh, we were fortunate yesterday afternoon. We had um, we had uh, Hosanna, who was uh, down at Chitwa Chitwa Dam, and we had a wonderful afternoon viewing him. While Tristan was with the lions, and again, this is I mean, we are very fortunate. All our, you know, we've been very patient with a lot of our sightings and sitting and spending time with these animals which is what it's all about and i guide like this when i've got guests too and i think it's 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 important because you get to see animals natural behavior you get to see a lot more from these animals so um we're going to sit here a little bit longer with this young leopard let's head across to james who apparently has a little gap in the bad weather let's see what he's up to <laughs> 